Hey, good morning. Just uh, thought about the wise virgins versus the the foolish virgins that uh, Jesus talks about in Matthew. And uh, there is a real wisdom there that we need to apply in our lives, each and every one of us, because as Christians we want to give everything to everyone else. But if the wise virgins would give their oil to those who didn't have and didn't had made time to to fetch for themselves, then uh, those uh, wise virgins would not be wise anymore. They would be like the foolish virgins because they said, if we give to you of our oil, then we won't have enough for ourselves. And this is a wisdom that I think many of us don't apply. And it's like when Donald Trump says, uh, America first. He gets complaints from everywhere in the world. Oh, you just think about yourselves and everything, but no. But that is actually the responsibility of a leader, to think about your own country first and your own people first. But it's, it's a thing that is often forgotten in Christian kind of uh, nations that are, it's kind of a false humility that no, we give everything to everyone else. But then what happens is that you, you uh, kind of strip yourself of everything that you have and you will be left with nothing uh, because people, other people, you can trust other people to give to you uh, even though you give it to them. You can trust God that God will give back to you, but you know, there's, there's in some cases you have to like, you have to consider yourself first. Because when you have, then you can give to others. But if you don't have, then your uh, your ship will go under uh, trying to save others who didn't even care enough for themselves to 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 give to themselves. Right? If you catch my drift. So there's a wisdom here that we need to like pray about. If I say more words now, it's just going to be confusing. Because there is a something difficult in this kind of um, conversation, this kind of subject to like give to ourselves first. Um, yet we know that Jesus Christ, he gave to everyone else. He gave his own life. But at least, at least spiritually speaking, we need to feed ourselves first. If we don't have oil on our lamps, if we don't have uh, our lamps full, then it won't be enough for the times to come. And because there will be a great falling away. That's why we need to make sure each and every one of us, that we ourselves are filled first. And then we can go do everything else that needs to be done. Okay, just, uh, I'll just do a short prayer. Dear Lord God, God of Israel, we praise you. Thank you, Lord. I just pray for everyone listening to this message that you'll give them the right understanding. Give me the right understanding about this subject, God, about being a wise virgin and not a foolish virgin. A foolish virgin does not even care about, they don't take time to seek you, Lord. They don't take time to be filled by your spirit. They don't take time to, to do the right actions, to be filled by the Holy Spirit. But they just want to take from everyone else. They want to come to the to the wise virgins who have oil and steal from them or take away from them without without uh, yeah, and not caring about what will happen to them. Lord God, I just pray God you give us all wisdom to take care of ourselves spiritually so that we will have enough to give to others and that there will be a, an overflow, God, in Jesus' name in these last days. I thank you, Lord God, amen. Praise to Jesus. God bless you. Have a great day. Okay, I just want to add one thing. I said that if you give to others, you can't trust that men will give back to you. But that's not true. According to Jesus' word, that if you give, it shall be given you. Um, you know, pressed down, shaken, and overflowing. Will men give to your bosom? That means that, yes, you can trust that men will give you... Uh, material 
blessings for the material blessings you give out or or perhaps also the spiritual blessings that you give out but men cannot really give you what only God can give you which is the Holy Spirit the wise virgin said to the foolish ones go and buy oil and what does God tell us he, he tells us buy from me gold purified in fire and white raiment that you may be clothed and not your naked shame will not be on display and eyes have that you can see right so we buy from God wine and milk and all these lavish uh, foods spiritual foods we buy from him without payment for nothing we get it freely let uh, anyone who thirst come to me and drink and I will give them the water of life Jesus says the Holy Spirit and for the release in me out of his inmost being or his belly so for rivers of living waters for those who believe in him right so we come to God and buy from him things what we, what, but we buy without it's not pay we don't pay for it with money of course we pay for it just by spending time with him, with God. And he grants us joyfully all the things that we need. The foolish virgins did not spend time with God in his presence to receive the oil, the anointing, the joy of the Lord. They were busy doing other things they had not prepared for the Lord's coming. And we can also get filled by the Spirit by doing evangelism spreading the word of God because if we give out the word of God God will fill us even more okay so that's kind of the thing but if you give uh, material blessings uh, and stuff like that then you can expect a return from people but not not the things that only God can give you which is the oil that is spoken of in in Matthew. Okay, have a blessed day.